Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ace PvP here and I'm back with another video. This is going to be another post-com uh, HG and I am playing as the Kangaroo Kit. Uh, also, thank you for 90 likes on my pack. Uh, you know, I put the <sighs> the dick pic in there. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, so in this game, uh, it actually kind of went quite well and I've been trying to get post-com for quite a while now. Um, so, it got a few good moments in it and I got a fair few kills so it should make for a good gameplay anyway first of all we attack this guy who is a gladiator and gladi gladiators me up but uh, I actually have a lot of soup and <laughs> since this is my first fight my aim is like f all over the place but uh, I start picking it up about now in the fight and um, yeah so I'm giving him the dombo stain like hell and I eventually end up killing him uh, quick refill there. Um, so I kill him and I start like sorting through my inventory, making sure I've got what I need. And yeah, so uh, I start heading on to find the next person and you know, organize my inventory, get some more shrooms, stuff like that. Make sure I've got plenty if I need to recraft or uh, resoup and refill. Um, Anyway, after I've got a full inventory and I've got plenty of shrooms, I got I go looking for the next person, who should come up any second now. He's called uh, the gangster, and uh, yeah, here he is. So I start taking him out, and um, yeah, it's like he's winning the fight, and I'm quick dropping a lot of my soup because I'm kind of nervous that I'm gonna freak out. Uh, anyway, so I run away because I'm a pussy, um, <clears throat> and I make sure I've got all my soup needed to try and take him out. So I go back, and uh, he's fighting someone else, so I crit the fuck out of um, the gangster, and then I take out Dark. And then I start sorting through my inventory again, uh, making sure I've got all the right stuff and repaired swords. Anyway, here's the next person, he's got leather boots, so, you know... I kill him, and then I actually have something else, um, but, uh, I run away and re, re soup pretty quickly, and then he had, he didn't have any soup left, so, I killed him, and grab his stuff, and start sorting through my inventory again, get the leather boots on, and I should be on my way, now I have almost a stack of each, uh, so bowls, and both types of soup, so that's pretty sick, um, so I'm traveling along and here's the next person and uh, he actually doesn't have anything. He just tries to switch me. I, I don't even see the point in that. Anyway, I saw that name under the floor. Um, I thought, oh, I'll go back for him in a second. I'm just going to take out this Randy. Um, <clears throat> so I kill him after that. Yeah, you know, almost done it. There we are. Killed him. Um, and now I go back looking for this guy. Uh, so I go searching for him, I'm like breaking some dirt, seeing if I can get down there. So uh, I decide to go looking through the caves, uh, and then I find him down here, and it turns out he's not actually a player, so I just throw my egg at him and walk away. Uh, which is pretty disappointing, but you know. Anyway, so I come out of the cave, and I see someone there, um, and I back off, and I like, I get set up and ready. And I go back. And I'm fighting them. Uh, it's a pretty hard fight because you know it's a team of two. But um, so I'm critting the fuck out of that guy. But I think he's a turtle, so I go for the other one. I crit him, kill him, um, and then I go on to kill the next guy right here. Any second, and I just completely shrek him basically. Then I go through, organize my inventory again, like I always do. Um, get set up. And then I go looking for my next victim over here. And it's actually a tower. I kill this guy and he's actually got a sharpness one stone sword so I really want that. But uh, he does hearts like three hits. Uh, I mean three hearts per hit if it's not a crit. Um, but I do kill him and I start organizing my inventory again so I can get that stone sword and take out the rest of the people up there. So that guy jumps down uh, through the trap door and I I run away because I want to get ready. Um, and then as soon as I turn around, I see him at the bottom of the tower and he gets TP back up there again. So I go for another attempt uh, trying to kill them. 
and he jumps off again, and I am actually able to kill him this time, and I back off in case they've got like a stomper, because uh, I don't want them to kill me, obviously. Now I think, how am I going to get up there? Because they're obviously not going to come down. They're going to be staying up there. They're going to camp the rest of the game. Uh, and I think, hmm, how can I get up there? So I use my Kanga stick to jump around the trees and see if I can get up there anyway. Um, and then I actually end up breaking the tree down uh, so I can get some extra blocks to help me get up there. And uh, yeah, after I broke that tree, I got my 32 wooden planks and I jump across and I place some of them there so I can kind of like kanga up. But as I start going up, um, I actually get just, I get maged into the tower. And um, so yeah, I start critting the hell out of him. And then he dies and I kind of get stuck on the ladder there. And then I kill him. He f Well, he falls off the tower and dies. Um, I actually thought he was just there, but he was shifting. But I actually killed him. So yeah. And uh speeding up again going through my inventory sorting out my suit all that stuff and uh, i'm looking for a way to get down i'm kind of like scared i don't want to kill myself so i just kind of like um go over here and then jump into the water and go looking for the next person so uh yeah uh, i'm looking for the next guy now um and he is called crazy Lo logon crazy underscore logon um and I'm using my compass to find him over here. It's like in a cave. Uh, so I run down the cave and um, he's right in here. So I, I break this and it actually just looks like I run straight into him and kill him. Uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so I kill him there. And he it was just a one hit kill and I killed him. So I got some iron and he had some iron smelting and he had some coal and stuff. So... I'm at the furnaces here, and I'm just kind of like looking for some coal. Um, just so I can get the rest of this, the iron set, uh, so I can make sure I've got a much better chance of winning the game. But uh, yeah, after waiting a while uh, for smelting, I kind of like make my leggings, make my boots, uh, make my helmet eventually, um, and then I decided to go ahead and mix some extra tools like a pickaxe an extra sword and an axe as you can see here uh, so I get all of that stuff ready um, and the extra sword make sure my inventory is very clean so I don't have to worry about that and then um, I decide to go looking for the last two players and um, yeah uh, I go looking for them and it's uh, kind of, it kind of takes a while. Uh, this is sped up quite a bit. Because um, I can see them under the ground. But I don't want to go looking for them. Because I think they, well, they probably got like, bo they both have full sets of iron. So I might as well just kind of see what they're doing. And uh, get some XP levels so I can enchant my stuff at the feast. So I'm just kind of running around and I decide, you know what, I'm just going to kill some animals and slowly head back to the feast. Um, and also get some food because I kind of need that. Uh, I just don't think, oh yeah, the feast is going to have food because I'm stupid. Uh, anyway, so I'm like killing chickens, horses, you know, everything on the way there. And uh, eventually I do get to the feast right over here. And um... Uh, yeah, so I'm killing a bunch of stuff, waiting for the feast, and it's like, yeah, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and it opens here, so I start grabbing some extra, extra loot, so I have an even better chance of winning. I get that diamond sword, and I enchant that, and with my luck, I get a, um, no, I'm not going to enchant it, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, anyway, so I sort out my inventory and uh, get all the bits I need, water bucket, lava bucket, flint and steel, and I enchant it, get on my chest plate and leggings, I get protection one, and then on my diamond sword I get sharpness one, um, which is pretty cool. I got, I lucked out quite a bit there, so I blew up the feast, forgot about the enchantment table, so I quickly picked that up. Um, with the pickaxe I made earlier... <laughs> And just to make sure they didn't get it, and I headed back over there. 
And he actually killed his teammate. I'm not quite sure why, but... Yeah, I, I didn't really expect that to happen, but... I just looked in chat, and he killed him. Uh, and they wouldn't have been fighting down there, because it was like four minutes, five minutes, or something like that. And... Fights don't last that long, okay? <laughs> so, I'm just travelling over here. Uh, see if I can find him. And uh, we're talking in chat a little bit, and he said, hey, and I'm trying to look for him, and I just can't find him. Um, and then I head back for the last time, and I find him over here. He says, I got to go, and I think he's got to log off on me. So I just crit him, put him in lava, and win the game. I'm sorry it wasn't a very good ending, but, you know, he was a bit of a pussy, so I had to take him out like that. But I hope you enjoyed my 12 kill gameplay, and I hope you enjoyed, uh, you liked my new render settings that I'm using. I actually love playing with them, and I can click a lot better with them, uh, and control it and everything, and someone hooked me up with some sensitivity. Uh, it's rocking nice. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you give it a thumbs up, I hope you comment, and if you're not already, please subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.